And those firefighters there on the front lines will get a slight break today, but it will not last very long. Ron Marciano is in Los Angeles with more. Rob, you've been talking to these crews. The conditions are just brutal for them. And it's been a rough couple of weeks, Cecilia, in California, especially for these firefighters. And now they have a fire inside the city of Los Angeles, which means more people, more structures to protect. They are heroes, but they're human. They get tired. They're battling fatigue, and there really is no tricks to doing that. they got to get snippets of sleep wherever they can, and that's not in some cushy hotel room. That's on the, uh, the campus of UCLA in a parking lot and, and cots in these fire trucks. I'd love to tell you that they get 12 hours of work and then 12 hours off, but it's the fire that sets the schedule. And a lot of these guys work 20 hours straight since the beginning of this fire. And they know today is a day to get a handle on it with these light winds. But I just talked to the assistant fire chief who tells me it may look like the fire is out, but it has the potential to explode when the next round of wind arrives later on tonight. Cecilia. They are true heroes and we are all wishing them well, Rob. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.